This is Eugene Pandritkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Pavilion 15 notebook computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a HP Pavilion 15 notebook computer. And this is for the non-touch version of this laptop computer. If you have a tough touch version, the procedure is different. Okay, before we do anything with this or most other laptop computers, we need to remove all sources of power, and that means removing the battery. In order to remove the battery, we flip the laptop over, slide the two levers inwards, and slide the battery out, and the battery is removed. While we're on the bottom, I'll show you where to find the model number for this laptop. It is right here. So there's some barcodes, and on the bottom you see model 15-B142DX. Once again, this procedure will work for all non-touchscreen versions of this laptop model. Okay, let us flip the laptop over again and take a look. In order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some rubber screw covers. Before we start with that, we'll show you the tools we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We also have a hobby knife or exacto knife, and that's to remove the screw covers and to lift up any adhesive tape. And finally, we have a pair of metal tweezers, and that's to remove any screws that may be stuck or to manipulate cables. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the screw covers with a hobby knife. And in order to do that, we go under the screw covers and what I like to do is put them right beside the screw opening so I don't lose them and we also do the same thing on the other side like so and put it to the side we then use our screwdriver to remove the two screws at the bottom and for each step for each set of screws what I like to do is put them in a separate pile on the side in the order in which I remove them and that helps me keep track of which screws go where when uh, we're putting the laptop back together again. Once we remove the screws we can snap the screen bezel off. What I like to do for this step is put my fingertips or fingernails under the screen bezel on the screen side and gently lift up and out. And there's some adhesive in this case, but so we can do it carefully. And we listen for snapping sounds. And in this way, we go around the screen. And if you get stuck at a certain point, you keep going and come back to that point later on it will be easier to remove. This is probably the most difficult part of the whole repair procedure, but it's not too bad. Just take your time on this. We we'll keep going around. And for the bottom, we do the same thing also. And there's a trick on the bottom. You can see that there's some tape coming off the screen. So we put our fingers between the screen bezel and the tape and so that the tape stays with the screen like so. And we keep going. Like so. And finally, we tilt the bezel forward and we see that the hinges are getting stuck. So what we do is we stand the laptop on its side and there's a seam where the hinges meet. So we put our X-Acto knife into the seam, like so, and snap 
and snap the hinges off like so. I'll show you again on the other side. We have the right camera angle this time. So put the exacto knife into the seam and snap the hinges off like so. And then once we do that, we try lifting the bezel off and the bezel comes off. Once we remove the screen bezel, we can take a look at the screen assembly. For this type of screen, there is mounting tabs on top and bottom and it's secured by two screws on top and two screws on the bottom. So in order to remove the screen for the screen assembly, we have to remove these four screws. And that's what we'll do next. Okay, and once again we start a new pile with this set of screws so we can keep track of the different screws, like so. And that's three. And four. When you do this, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit so when you remove the last screw, the screen doesn't fall forward on you. Once we remove all four screws, we gently tilt the screen forward to make sure it's not getting stuck on anything. And we lay the screen down. For this type of screen, there's only one connector at the bottom and it's secured by some adhesive tape on the top. Before we disconnect the connector, we have to remove the adhesive tape. So in order to start the adhesive tape, we use our X-Acto knife to lift up a corner. And once we have enough, we can grab it with our fingertip, but we don't have enough yet. So lift off a bigger piece of the corner. And keep going, and this is very strong adhesive tape. They doubled the amount of adhesive they decided to use. But we slowly work it off. Being careful not to damage the connector. So when we get to the connector, we want to slow down so we don't damage it. very slowly around the connector. Okay, so once we remove the, all the adhesive tape, we fold it back like so, and we grab the connector from the back and gently pull out the connector and the screen is off. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to put the connector back. We slide the connector back and when you slide it, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. So let's get a close-up of the connection. Okay, pause the video right there. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, so this is a properly connected connection. So we remove the connector and we take a look at this screen. This is called a 15.6 slim screen. It is commonly available and is a common laptop screen. And let's take a look at the part number. The part number that you're looking for is N156BGE-L41. You need that whole part number. N156BGE-L41. When you do receive this screen, most likely the part number will be different, but the mounting tabs and the connector will be in the exact same place. Okay, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and what you get with us is compatibility guarantee. So if we send you the wrong screen, then let us know about it, and we'll send you the right one at no charge. You get this toolkit for free with the screen, it will ship with the screen. We have free priority mail shipping, so if you're in the United States, you'll get your screen within two to three days of the order. And if you're outside the United States, we can ship to most countries. Just go through their regular checkout procedure and enter your country and you'll see the shipping rates for that. 
Okay, and also we have a two year warranty on our screens. If there's a line or dead pixels appear within a two years, we'll replace it at no charge. Okay, to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will help you find the right screen online, and then you order it online, and then we'll send the screen to you. Once you receive the screen, reconnect this connector as I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two screws in at the bottom. Snap the screen bezel back on and snap the hinges back on. Just press it down. Then put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers and you should be done. And your computer should be as good as new. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Penrudkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.